Because so many of us, we're going to talk about Goodnight World and the ending. We're doing a sort of ending explain, but if you have a theory about the ending or have some questions, let's talk about it with everybody in the comments. Suggest your theories. Spoil away. This is your word of warning. If you don't want spoilers, jump away. If you don't mind, jump in. Let's talk about the ending. So one of the first things you'll notice when our two main protagonists that jump out of the world supposedly that they're in is that there's a red dragon flying across the sky and then one of them glitches now that suggests that there is still in a fake world rather than it being earth earth it's another digital earth now i've heard and i've read a number of theories on this i have my own personally i think it's like inception but for sao there are a number of levels for all the population i don't think anybody has left i think this is just another earth and they're still in it but on the flip side of that, some suggest that it's just them two, that Tahiro had to create an alternate world. He wasn't as good as his father, but their bodies were so degraded or so messed up from the real world, from what happened with their VR goggles, that he had to create a world. It's not quite as good as Earth. There is a still overlapping sense, and that's why we get the number of couple of instances where we get those glitches. Let me read from somebody else's theory. At the end of Goodnight World, before leaving the park, Tahira notices a rare dragon flying in the sky. This clearly suggests that the world they are residing in is an artificial one. It was not the perfect world that was designed by his father and glitches showed up at times. The human population logged out of the birdcage, but they did not return to the real world. Instead, their minds were transported to another world that was considered the real world. It makes one wonder. Tachiro was the original creator of the world. Since his reaction to the rare dragon was nothing extreme, his sigh can be interpreted as his disappointment in not writing the perfect program like his father did. Maybe after the destruction of the birdcage, it was impossible to return to the real world. Maybe the bodies of most people suffered and died. It is also possible that an alternate artificial world is the only option for people to remain hopeful and start afresh. But one day or another, the truth will possibly surface, and that will be the beginning of more chaos. I'm liable to agree with this synopsis for what happened at the end because it just showed us them too, and Tahira was the programmer, and it's all to do with him, really. So it could be them still stuck in it. But further back, we had other characters that were part of the family unit that were drawn in, especially for that whole Blackbird chaos theory. I think they could all still be, everybody could still be in a fake Earth and they don't know it, which is why I'm leaning back into that Inception idea. Let me know your thoughts and feelings. If you had other questions, let's help everybody and ask and answer them in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching, but most of all, until next time, remember, live long and Tuesday.